Since 1999, the Townships Project has helped South African organizations give small loans to people living in townships to start or expand small businesses. For an investment of only $1.7 million, the Townships Project has helped to change more than 250,000 lives to date. The Townships Project focuses on South Africa because it is the economic driver in Southern Africa and has a strong impact on the rest of the continent. Still, more than 20 million South Africans live on less than $2 a day. That's why Townships Project founder Martha Deacon wanted to help. You guys are the heroes of your country because you are the ones who have taken a risk and started a business against all odds often. I've started businesses. I know how hard it is. Loans started at $100 and were repaid with interest. They were made to people like Saboche. Saboche is a single mother with two children. Before taking out a loan, she sold secondhand clothes, blankets, and snacks. The money she made was barely enough to live on. So when Saboche found out loans were available, she organized other businesswomen in her village to form a borrower group. By her third loan, Saboche expanded her business to include perfumes, drums, and herbs. She has since built a house with a new kitchen and is grateful for the loan, but she points out that hard work is the real key to success. Many people like Saboche benefit from microlending. Microlending was successful, with thousands becoming self-sustaining and supporting family. But by itself, microlending hasn't been powerful enough to affect widespread improvement in South Africa. That's where micro-franchising comes in. As you may know, franchising takes a successful business and replicates it using consistent processes and creating a brand while training franchisees. Micro-franchising presents this same model to the poor, creating affordable business ownership, reliable systems, and family employment. With this understanding, last year the Townships Project embarked on a project called the Micro-Franchising Launch, bringing together small business owners, townships community leaders, government policymakers, and major franchisers and corporations. The goal is to kickstart the creation of profitable, affordable, replicable small businesses. It will be a way for people in townships to buy a job complete with skills training, corporate support and investment, and the culture of business within the family. South African corporations are required by law to spend 3% of their net profits on enterprise development. These funds will soon amount to $1 billion per year. For that reason, organizations like Standard Bank, the University of Cape Town's Graduate School of Business, and the South African Department of Trade and Industry are very interested in what the Townships Project is doing. Not only are they interested, they've already shown their support with resources and funds. And for that reason, the micro-franchising launch has proven to be jump-starting an entire industry in South Africa. It's a potentially world-changing strategy for creating prosperity. We at the Townships Project are passionate about micro-franchising. More than that, we're passionate about helping people living in the townships of South Africa. And perhaps the most passionate of us all is the Townships Project founder, Martha Deacon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium. Here to introduce Martha Deacon is Lenta N. Poverty Event Chair, Lorraine Kirschman.